Hi, my name is Deborah Pedro and welcome to my blog. Um, last week I talked to you about the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And this week I want to talk to you specifically a little bit more about the Spirit because I didn't touch on that very much last week. Uh, I did find a site that I shared with you and I hope you did look at it and um, find out some more information yourself. It's called Tough Questions Answered, and it gave us some informa information on the Trinity. And let me just recap a little bit about what I had said about what the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the differences are. And the one is, in, in brief, it's the Father that's the planner, it's the Son that accomplishes what the Father planned, and it's the Holy Spirit that is the applies the salvation uh, to believers. The Father is the source, the Son is the means, and the Holy Spirit is the effector of salvation. So um, the Holy Spirit is the one that works within us to, to accomplish, to do what as believers in Christ who came and died for us on the cross and we are to believe in him and do what uh, he did, emulate his love for others. And we do that by, we, by, we show that by doing for others. Uh, we do deeds, not that we're expected. We don't get into heaven by doing good deeds, but because of our faith in Jesus Christ and the belief that we have and after learning about what Jesus did for others, as Christians, we want to emulate that and we want to love others the way Christ loved us. So let's get into the Bible verse today. And that would be 1 Corinthians 12, uh, 7 through 11. Um, well, actually, let's go all the way back and let's go with 4 through 11. And this talks about the Holy Spirit and the gifts that he gives us. And gifts are he gives to different people. He gives different gifts to different people. We are not all the same. God didn't create us the same. We aren't supposed to. We are here to perform different functions to help others. And if we all had the same capacity, um, we, we, we wouldn't be able to help each other. We wouldn't need help. So by him giving us different gifts, uh, wisdom, um, healing, tongues, prophecy, and, and I'll read through those for you, uh, that helps us to help our, fo our fellow man uh, to grow in Christ. And so there are three different categories of these uh, gifts that the Holy Spirit gives us. There are nine of them. And the three categories, re they reveal or they do or they say. And uh, they, when they reveal, it's words like wisdom, knowledge, and discerning. And when you do, it's through faith, healing, and miracles. And when you say, it's through prophecy, tongues, or interpretation. And those are the nine gifts that the Holy Spirit gives us. So as we read through the scripture, uh, verse four it is, there are different kinds of gifts, but the same spirit, there's only one spirit, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, that spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of workings, but all, but in all of them and in every one, it is the same God at work. So through all these works, through all these gifts that we do, it is God, the one God that is at work within us, within our hearts. Uh, helping us grow and making us accomplish, helping us accomplish and carry out these gifts that the Holy Spirit has bestowed upon us. So now to each a one of us, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. We all have one goal, and that is to serve others and to help others and to um, be more like Christ, and that is what these gifts are doing. And to one, there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom to the other, a message of knowledge. Now, those two words seem similar, but actually there's quite a big difference there. If you have wisdom, wisdom is sort of just gained by, by action. Uh, you don't touch a hot fire. Uh, or perhaps you know a friend who maybe they don't always tell the truth. 
So you become wise to them that you have to be careful of what they say because you've learned, you've gained wisdom over the uh, years that they don't always quite um, give you the exact facts as they happened. But knowledge is different. Knowledge comes from reading and you're able to read, comprehend, and discern this information. So those, those are two different things, but they're both very good to have. And those are both special gifts that the Holy Spirit bestows on us. They come by means of the same Spirit. And to the other is faith. By the same Spirit, to other gifts we that he gives is healing um, by that one Spirit. And to another, miraculous power. And to another, he might give prophecy. To another, distinguishing bes between spirits to another speaking in different tongues, all these things. He doesn't give us all the same. That's what makes the world a good place to be because we're all different. We're created same, normally by the same body, uh, the same types of body. Uh, we have uh, meaning arms and eyes and uh, teeth, but we don't have the same gifts that God gives and that helps make us all individuals. And to still another, the interpretation of tongues. God tells us that when someone does speak in tongues and when you speak in tongues, that's when you're giving a message uh, from God. It's in a different language. But if someone would speak to you in a different tongue and you have no comprehension of what that person is saying, what that message from God is, the Bible does, does tell us that unless we can understand it, it's not good. Because what good is it to hear words and sounds and you don't know the meaning? So that's why the Holy Spirit gives us an interpreter of the tongue, someone that's blessed with knowing how to distinguish what um, the tongue, what is being said. All these are the work of one and the same spirit, and he distributes them to each one just as this determined. So I think it's good for us, uh, for each of us individually, to try and figure out what our different gifts are. Do we have a, a gift of knowledge? Are you able to comprehend and read? Um, perhaps you have things that you want to share with others. You're, you'd make a good teacher. That would be good. You would be able to share what you learn with others. Or perhaps you have the power of interacting with people. Uh, you might want to be more of a counselor to others, someone that needs your help and they need to understand how they have, they have problems in life and they need better understanding of how to cope with what they're going through. If you're a counselor, um, you're able to help them nurture and understand what their problem is. Uh, or perhaps you're good with working with your hands. God gives us gifts where we can do and we can be a plumber or an electrician. Those are, those are wonderful trades. And a lot of people uh, don't like to, they're not just not made to go to college. They don't like college. They don't have the gift of sitting down and studying. However, being a tradesman, you do have to study and learn how to do it. But then in the end, you're working with your hands. You might be someone that learns by sight. So how you put all those things together, that's a wonderful thing. And God created us, created us all to be different. So uh, unity and diversity is good. Um, we come together from uh, the, the uh, different gifts that God gives us, but we're all diverse. We're different, but we're united together because we need each other. We need each other. We lean in on each other. We share each other. We share our gifts with each other, and that brings us together. Uh, the, the verse goes on to say in verse 12, just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, and so it is in Christ. So though we may all be different in the gifts that we are given through the Holy Spirit, we all uh, are together as Christians in one body, the body of Jesus Christ. And it's good to know that, and it's good to share the different gifts that we are given through Christ and um, to share them with other other Christians, and to share with non-believers, especially non-believers, so that we can draw them in and they can see the life that we have and the love that overflows in our hearts from Jesus Christ. Not because of something that we do, we gain our love through Jesus and it's something that we can share and overflow into others. So I want you to have a blessed day 
and in Jesus' name, amen.